I'll play here. Today we are teaching you scratch. Yeah, we are teaching you scratch. So, we're going to learn how to make a hitbox. So, to make a hitbox, we must need a backdrop. So, all these backdrops are just doo -doo. Let's make our own backdrop. Actually, you know what? Let's just make sprites. You can make a backdrop if you want, but I'm on to making a sprite. First of all, let's just put our pet sprite over here. And then let's build, make our own sprite. So, we're actually going to turn it into a, like, area, like grass. Let's make it a little green. Let's make it a little bit, like, let's make it bigger. Actually, you know what, let's just turn it into, like this, yeah. Make it this, and then we're going to turn it into this, like this. Okay, now I didn't need my outline. <laughs> so now let's make this. So, here's our grass. Now look, here's our grass. Let's make another grass sprite. I mean, let's just make like a rock or a, let's just make a rock. So uh, we're going to need to put our brightness to zero in this fill thing. And then uh, let's make our rock kind of like this. Yeah. Actually, this looks nothing like a rock. This looks like coal. Let's make this uh, kind of like... I don't know how to make it. Really light now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make it like this. 77 brightness. Color and saturation zero. <laughs> and then uh, let's make it a little bit like this. I don't know. You can make your own. I'm actually just making my own sprite right now. What is that big line? I think I just saw a line. And now, here's a rock. This is a rock. I made a rock. <coughs> you can actually name these sprites. So now, First of all, let's make it so that our sprite can move. <coughs> First of all, let's put uh, when this button, when flag clicked, then let's go to control. No, not control. Wait, what was it? Was it? Yeah, it was control. Then let's grab if, whatever it is, then. Then let's go to sensing. And then, um, key, space, press, put this in the blank thing. Let's change it to, like, an arrow key or... I'm just gonna make it an arrow key. And after that, we're gonna go to a motion. And then, we're going to, uh, sign... Actually, you know what, for now, let's make the right and left arrows. For right arrow... <coughs> We're going to make it change x by 10. And then let's duplicate the... Uh, if... Uh, let's duplicate it. Do the complete opposite. Turn the right arrow to left arrow and then... The 10 to negative 10. Now, as you can see, we are... Oh. Wait, hold on. Okay, so uh, I had to uh, make, put this if, these two if thingies inside a forever thingy. And then I had to drag this into a sprite. And then let's yay this, go to sprite. Now, hopefully, oh, yeah, it works. There is one problem. We have to make it. So that when we touch this rock, it will not make us pass through it or walk through it. So, going to make two variables. First variable, uh, let's just name it, let's just give it a name. Uh, why? Let's make it 
name it touch y and then another variable touch x after that we are going to need <coughs> to hold on let me set this up okay so first of all we need to put a when flag click to set my variable let's just change that to touch x then let's go to um motion then uh, here at the very end of mouse and here is x position let's put this at touch x and then uh, let's go back to uh, variables then set touch y to y position so this is gonna help us to set the touch like look at this now so now our x position is our touch x but this isn't changing let's fix that a bit so um this is won't this won't take long now this yep it's working now whenever we move it changes our touch x so let's uh, do some things here. Okay, I think I figured out an error. <laughs> We're going to need to remove these. I mean, put this back at here. Remove this forever because uh, for some reasons. We're going to need to put the forever over here. And then we're going to need to we're gonna need to we're gonna need to put an if in the forever loop and then we're going to need to put this touching color in this blank area now let's uh, make let's press this button right below the color picking thing after that we're going to need to select the color let's select the rocks color after we've selected it then we're going to need to go to x touch x and y equals touch y yeah this uh, makes it better a lot better so now we're going to need to set outside the loop uh oh wait i can't put it outside the loop wait hold on okay we didn't really have to put this set my uh set touch x to um go to motion and then uh go up why did it put, keep pulling me up so uh let's just put this uh x position here and then we're going to need to put this here and then uh touch y go to motion uh, y position and there we go now let's check this out pushing these keys now when we touch it we cannot go through it this is just part one so uh, in the next part we're going to teach you how to actually cross this without touching this without touching this rock well if this helped you hit, well if this helped you in your scratch Hit that like button and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell for more notifications when I upload a video. And see you in the next.